Hello makers, I hope you've been crafting while in quarantine and today we're back with more content using Lumen's hard light foam provided by Arta Wigs and today we're gonna learn how to do these tiny teeny tiny one millimeter bevels in two millimeter foam and I've been using this technique quite a bit on Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home. As you can see, this armor is super detailed and it requires a lot of teeny tiny bevels. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've started um, prototyping this technique with a simple straight line, just like I use on Mysterio, super nice, straight and clean. But I also have experimented with a complex curved line for a more filigree armor look. And I use a X-Acto knife for this because it's such thin foam. I don't feel like I get as much control using the Foamworks bevel tool, uh, which you use quite often on thicker foams, probably four millimeter and above for a nice clean, um, nice clean beveled cut but for this we're going to start out using a nice fresh exacto blade because we want to make sure we have as much control as possible for this technique so i'm just gonna try and oh it's kind of stuck i'm gonna pull a nice fresh blade out of here put it in my little knife and tighten it nice All right, so what we're gonna do, similar to how you would use the Foamworks bevel, we're gonna take our knife, just honestly the very tip of the blade. We're not gonna cut straight into it, similar to the technique you would use with um, a scoring and then heating it with a heat gun to expand it. We're just gonna cut straight into it delicately and I need my knife to be at an angle at about a 45 degree angle for a nice bevel and then we're gonna flip it around and bevel it in the opposite direction and that's gonna give me that nice triangular bevel cut without cutting straight into my foam and essentially taking out this support structure. So as you can see, look, my bevel popped straight out and I got a nice clean line there. And it's only super, super fine and detailed in two millimeter foam. Now let's try it with the more complex curve. So we're gonna do the same technique, but this time we might have to maneuver the foam a little bit with our free hand instead of maneuvering the blade, because the more you try to move the blade, the more problems you might have in keeping it at that nice 45 degree angle. So especially at this curve down here. Yeah, this is a slow process, of course, because we want to make sure we have as much control as possible. Here we go. I'm trying not to cut straight through the foam because I just want to keep a bit of support and structure when I go to glue it onto my final armor piece. There we go. And keeping that 45 right around, right around that curve. And yes, this kind of does take a lot of dexterity with your fingers. So you might not get this technique perfect the first try, of course, but if, on the other hand, I have been using this technique pretty frequently. So I'd had, and I've had many attempts that haven't gone as well. So here we go. We're pulling out that little bevel that we cut right in that complex curve little snake cut there and it's nice and clean and did not cut 
through the foam. We just made a tiny, nice detailed line there. So I really hope that this technique will work on future endeavors for you.